You're watching Balcony TV Exeter with visitexeter.com. We are delighted to welcome back onto the balcony again. It's been about a year, isn't it? I think yeah, about yeah. Wildwood Kin. All right, guys. Hello. Good Great to see you. Great to see you. You well? Yeah. yeah. You. Brilliant. We've got so much to talk about, but uh, tell us what you're going to play first. Uh, we're going to do our latest single, Steady My Heart. Go for it. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks so much. So I, uh, yeah, do you want to grab your mic actually, oh, yeah. Beth, as well, and then we can hear what you're talking about. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> Got it. Excellent. Good, cool. So for the first time ever in three years, I've had to have a, uh, I've got some bullet points here because I know there's so much I want to talk to you about and I didn't want to forget anything. Really. So, uh, so um, I can't remember whether you were actually with Sony the last time we saw you were you I don't think we, we were no, I think so we were sort of talking with yeah you, but you were kind of t yeah, but you weren't allowed officially. to talk about it yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it wasn't yeah. official yet so yeah yeah, yeah. so <laughs> welcome to Sony yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> welcome yeah, to the fold yeah, yeah. it must be great to have such a great team behind you yeah, yeah it's amazing yeah. they're yeah. all lovely as well so yeah, yeah. yeah. really yeah. nice team yeah. I think we were a bit apprehensive about it at first like a major label but actually they've proven to be really supportive they're just people aren't they totally exactly yeah completely yeah brilliant okay so um I don't, I don't want to sort of hark back to, to bad times too much, but I did want to just sort of broach on the on the whole thing, how you managed to get through the um, the Hyde Park yes. thing. Yeah, um, which is, so you know, you, you, how did you sort of? Because I saw your vlogs afterwards, and that was that was something else. You looked so disappointed about that. But <laughs> afterwards, you moved on to Nashville, which was just I think you said it was redemptive. Yeah, yeah it totally. Yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. T tell us about that whole sort of period. Well, obviously, you know, we kind of built up so much um, kind of. Well, uh, everything, expectation yeah, expectation yeah. for that mm. kind of moment. Yeah. And um, I guess it, it was, I mean, it was awful at the time, but actually, you know, we were thinking about it earlier and it's actually just been a massive learning curve really mm. for us, you know. It, it feels like 
to kind of go through that and then still come through and and the fact that we've still had so much support and amazing yeah. opportunities since it's just been totally redemptive and nashville was awesome like i you think know. your first gig over there just sorted it out oh it, totally yeah. yeah i think if we didn't yeah. have that to follow i think yeah. we would have been wallowing yeah yeah, <laughs> for quite yeah. Long time. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. i mean what a, what an amazing experience yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah, really great. Was, yeah. yeah so how about your faith then i mean this is something else that i know really impacts your work you don't really sort of wear it on your sleeve with your music so much but I know it really you know you're, it's, it's obviously there's something that's yeah. very close to you obviously so how, how does it impact your work do you, do you find yourself sort of drawing on that for inspiration for songs yeah I think so I think it's kind of always inspired our songwriting I guess we yeah. started singing together in church growing up when we were younger so okay. um, yeah I guess we take inspiration from from that and we try and I guess we don't want to sort of force stuff on people sure. so we we do write kind of from our own life stories and yeah. but we we want to sort of say it in a way that's I guess we just want to write stuff that's encouraging and uplifting and I think music is a perfect vehicle for that isn't it I yeah. mean it crosses over you know what, whatever your belief system yeah, I think absolutely. you know for, for spiritually music just crosses over yeah, totally, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 absolutely great mm. so um, blogs we've done the blogs whistle test we've got to we've got to talk about the whistle I can put this away now yeah. um, <laughs> What an amazing thing. I mean, I'm old, I was old enough to remember the first sort of batch, you know, and we yeah. used to watch Susan Abanti's My Hair Was Orange and, and yeah. into yeah. the whole punk thing. But to be, to be able to go back and sort of relive that must have been such a cool thing. It was. Oh, it was amazing. a real privilege. And yeah. we, weren't trying, we, we were trying not to think about it too much because yeah. it was live and we were like, oh, is it going to be OK? Is the sound going to be OK? But then after we were like, wow, I can't believe we actually had this opportunity. And um, yeah, Bob Harris and his family are really encouraging. And the fact that they asked us to take part in the yeah. show was just amazing so we're really grateful for that yeah. did you get a chance to jam with anyone afterwards no was there any sort of really separate dressing rooms and all that it was quite <laughs> separate oh, well, i mean everyone was super <coughs> friendly but obviously yeah. because you know they had just quite a tight schedule mm. with you know running times and stuff we didn't get a lot of but we did all have a green room where you know everyone kind of hung out at the right. end and got a drink right. and nice. had a chat and okay. that was a lovely it was a really really lovely environment really yeah. good yeah. absolutely great so that was a single yes. you just yes. played yeah yeah Another album on the way, possibly. Got any visions yeah. for that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, out of writing actually. You have, yeah. Um, I saw you went on a bit of a we, retreat. Yeah. yeah, we've been just demoing. I mean, at the moment, you know, we've got sort of five or six songs, um, you know, kind of in it very much in the early stages. We're still Great. kind of at the point where we want to write as much as we can so we can kind of whittle it down. Yeah. Um, mm. But I guess, yeah, things have been so busy last year that it's kind of taken us a while to, to get to the point where we can kind of draw on new material from like a place of rest I think it's really yeah, important absolutely. to kind of have yeah, of that quiet time to yes. be able to kind of get back into the creative flow because it is relentless isn't it exactly yeah, yeah. And physically it's so exhausting yes. and you know on your time off when you've just come back from a tour you kind of mm. need a restoration period yeah. I think before you can think about new stuff but absolutely. it's been really exciting to kind of be at that place where we feel like we can start writing so, again I mean Turning Tides yeah. is still very fresh obviously you know, yeah. and yeah. it's really great to hear some really thick bluesy guitar on it oh yeah no yeah. I'm enjoying it I'm I enjoying bet. crossing over to the bluesy side of things yeah. it, works, <laughs> it works really well so well produced I mean you, as you would expect really oh, I think my favourite is on and on probably I think it's, oh it's, it's that's really awesome we'll have to do that next time yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, one yeah, of our yeah, favourites yeah. actually yeah. so it's really nice to hear really that really great yeah. okay but Run is so well produced so epically produced I mean it's such an anthem isn't it I think that probably was the most anthemic um, yeah. on the album that was kind of the one it, feel, it feels like you spent a lot more time on that one than a lot of the others was that yeah was I, I think that was partly like the team really wanted that one to kind of be the single yeah. the radio sort of daytime kind of because I guess I guess to be honest that's the one that crosses over maybe most genre barriers it's almost it's very accessible Absolutely. I think um, so that one did probably get a lot more attention um, attention yeah, yeah I yeah. guess um, yeah. Yeah. but yeah yeah well, it's a great album. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Awesome Thank to you. have you back again. Thank Will you come back again next year, do you oh, reckon? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you've got to. It's on camera. Yeah, of course. Well, we're keen. Absolutely great. Thanks very much. Thanks for our venue, Samuel Jones. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>